Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we're going to be putting some new light bulbs in this Royal Soda Machine. Stay tuned. Happy Vending. In several of my soda machines I've upgraded them to LED bulbs but two of them I'm still using the original fluorescent style bulbs in them. These Royal 669 machines they take a T12 64 inch bulb, F64, T12. The ones in this machine are a warm white. These replacement ones that I got are daylight. These are a little brighter. I used to get these bulbs for about $25 a piece, which is more than regular fluorescent lights, but it wasn't too bad. Now I had to pay, get this, $35 a bulb. For these so it's like $70 to get these two bulbs so they're really getting pricey so if this goes bad again these maybe last me a year and a half I'll probably get LED bulbs for this machine I usually get Keystone sign hero bulbs they're kind of pricey but once you replace them they last a real long time I haven't had to replace any of my LED replacements. You do have to do a little bit of rewiring in the machine. You have to remove the ballast and direct wire it so that you have the hot on one end of the bulb and then the neutral on the other end of the bulb. I made a video explaining how to do that. I'll put a link so that you can check that out if you want to do it on your machine. But if you're just looking to replace your original fluorescent bulbs, this is how you do it. And these are actually high output bulbs. They have a special high output connector on them. Maybe it's another reason they're more expensive than the typical bulbs that you get, the fluorescent bulbs. And you really don't see these at your big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. I usually have to get them from an electrical supply place near me. So how do you know when your bulbs are going bad? Well, I could tell by looking at this machine it was starting to get dim. The bulbs weren't as bright as they normally are. If you open this up, you also start seeing a little darkening on the ends of the bulbs. It's a little darker down there and you start seeing a little flickering in the bulb. Whenever your bulbs start going bad, you want to do one of two things. Replace them or turn them off because if these bulbs get to the point where they start flickering trying to light up again you start having electrical problems with your machine it can get your coin changer to start jackpotting where it just starts sending out coins or the machine to start free vending it'll create all types of electrical issues with your control board so if your lights are starting to flicker you can go in here and disconnect the power contact connector for the bulbs to turn them off or like I said just take out the bulbs don't let them flicker in your machine and also if there's any light bulbs flickering around your machine like up in the ceiling you would really want to have that addressed too because if it's in the same circuit as your machine that can create electrical problems with your machine as well so before I pull these out of here, I am going to actually disconnect the power to the door. The easiest way to do this is to pull this fuse up here. Pull that down and then just pull that out like that. And notice the lights turned off. To get the bulb out, it's actually a spring-loaded connector up here at the top. When you push up on that, that goes up and then allows you to pull out the bottom. So I pushed up and now the bottom is free and then I can let the bottom go down into the machine until you can get this top part to clear the machine here. Sometimes you're a little obstructed with this panel here. So you got to be careful going around that. But you don't want to push too hard on the bulb because you don't want this to break. So you got to be very careful clearing that. And hopefully you have a room like this where you have a high enough ceiling that you're not poking at the ceiling tiles. So you just keep pulling it up, tilting it back. And just like that, you have it out. 
and put this somewhere where it's not going to drop and break. I remember once I was also replacing the ballast, which is right behind this metal plate. That's the screw to it. It's in here. And I dropped the ballast against one of the bulbs, and this thing shattered. And when these shatter, they just blow up and make a huge glass mess. And then you have a really big job cleaning this up instead of just changing the bulbs. So I'm going to put this on the floor over there. Once again, push up on the bowl, the spring-loaded connectors up top, pull it out at the bottom, get it to clear. Here there's a little gap on this weather plate up the top, so I can come right through that. It's a lot easier. And this one is out as well. Here's on the bottom of the bulb, you can see it's darkening. That's a sign that this bulb is starting to go bad. To get your new bulb in, just do the same process in reverse. It doesn't matter which end is going to which connector. That only matters if you have LED direct wire bulbs. Then you have to have the neutral on one side and the hot on the other. But the regular fluorescent bulbs like this does not matter. Just watch your ceiling. down into the machine and then come up, line up the connector, come up, push up on the spring-loaded latch and then sit it into the bottom connector like so. Let's do the next one. Coming in here carefully, going down into the machine, just watching the bulb against this plate want it to break. There we go. Clear that. Watch these wires. And then here is the spring-loaded connector. Line up the high output connector in the right direction. Push up on that and then bring it into the bottom connector. There we go. Now let's just connect the fuse and they should light up. much brighter than the other ones because remember these are daylight my other ones were warm light my lights came on in a bit of a delay because I have installed light relays in my machine right back here this is a relay that I installed so that I can have these lights turn on and off with a timer they go off at night they don't stay on all the time but if you didn't install a light relay in your machine your lights would always be on and then they would die a lot quicker all right, they look good and bright. Let's close it up, see what it looks like. There you go. Looks great. I'm one of the people that believes that you should always have your lights working on your soda machines. When I bought all of my soda machines, I got them used, and none of them had working lights. It was one of the first things I had to do is get the lights working. Every machine that I bought needed a new ballast and then new fluorescent bulbs. After a while, I started replacing the fluorescent bulbs with direct fit LEDs, except for two machines. I have two Coke machines that still have the fluorescent bulbs in them, and maybe I will replace those. But I just think it looks better. It's um, more attractive, and it helps with sales when you have a lit up machine. Everybody knows that it's on and working. Well, hopefully now you know how to change the fluorescent bulbs in your soda machine, and as always, happy vending.